That he used to go all over the place. When Peter and Daniel Arbini want to see their dad, Norman, they look at this wall. And this smile that has been around the world. The Amity Street home where he spent 89 years is now a tribute to his life and legacy. He was a typical old school Brooklyn boy. It was about the community. It was about sitting on the stoop and being part of something bigger than yourself. And we've got three, four hundred pictures. But it's the wall People on the other lawyers. side of the apartment that represents Peter and Daniel's fight for justice. Like all these people, Norman died of COVID-19. He contracted it while in a nursing home, but died at home, which means for more than a year, the state never counted his death. We have FOIL requests. When Governor Kathy Hochul took office, she acknowledged the 12,000 COVID deaths former Governor Cuomo's administration never reported. But to the Arbinis, they're still wondering where Norman fits in. There's no way to look up if their family member is in that 12,000. So my family is not going to stop and to my father counts in that 12,000 and also counts as part of the nursing home fatality. The Arbinis want an apology and for information and documents that show the circumstances surrounding Norman's death. They're also waiting for Governor Hochul to conduct a full investigation. Really digging into this and having the political will to care more about all of us than the fallout. A statement from Governor Hochul's office says, quote, Governor Hochul is deeply committed to transparency and restoring trust in government. We will always prioritize open communication with New Yorkers as we work together to battle the pandemic. I love this picture. The Arbini's lives have taken on a new purpose. They're willing to fight tirelessly for justice and for answers. In Cobble Hill, Jessica Easthope, Currents News. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell to get updates to all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.